Today we're in San Giorgio di Nagaro at Cranky's Nautical Base, waiting for a not off the press Cranky 54 HT, hot off, which is ready to be tried out. There's quite a lot of wind out there. The sea is probably going to be quite choppy, ideal conditions for our test. This model just says contemporary with its sporty lines, made all the more attractive with the dark colored hardtop version. It belongs to the hardtop series, the biggest amongst the six of these series the boatyard does. In fact, there are six different models ranging from 38 to 64 feet, even in the soft top versions. But is it just like any old hardtop? Like many other similar models, there's a nice sun deck at the bow. It's pretty smart, with adjustable headrests and, if you want, a sun protector. Then there's the sun deck at the stern that, to make it longer, you add the swim board. But watch out, because just as there are three cabins on this boat, it's only right that there are three sun decks. And here's the third. Before exploring the interiors, let's have a little sail. Scommetto che avreste voglia di provare a pilotare questa barca. Non è difficile, neanche manovrata. I bet you want to try sailing this boat. It's not difficult to maneuver because there's a joystick and with these kind of controls, anyone could pilot it. You can use this controller even when you're sailing. Like how I'm doing now along this canal, taking us out to sea. I just push it forward and the boat goes forward. Moving it a little to the left or straight or round and the boat turns. Could it be more simple? This is an IPS propulsion system invented by Volvo about 10 years ago and it's revolutionized the way we move in boats. Not just because it's made using a yacht easier, but because it's improved the efficiency in the propulsive push too. Now though, we know that boats like this with this type of equipment can keep the same speed and the same performances as a boat that's 30% more powerful. Insomma, tutto questo si traduce anche... And this all translates into energy savings and lower petrol costs. Ora, siccome Cranky ha partecipato al progetto... Since Cranky has taken part in the Volvo Penta IPS project right from the beginning, it's accumulated such vast experience that it can really take advantage of this type of propulsion system for its boats now. In sala macchine abbiamo due motori D11. Sono quasi In the machine room, we've got two D11 engines. They're nearly 11,000 cubic centimeters each, and they were updated in 2013 to increase performance and reduce emissions. They can hold up to 725 horsepower, and on this example, we've put on the maximum possible. With such a big cylinder and a new concept turbine, it goes really fast too. Just think that these engines at 1,300 revs have a torque of 2,300 newton meters. In fact, as soon as I touch the gas, the boat goes. To plane, you don't need intruders. And at 12.5 knots, 1,400 revs, the boat is already sitting pretty. A boat with such sporty lines, even if it's big, really big like this one, needs to give us the speed shivers, and this one does. It's impressive to see just how fast the rev counter moves when I give it some juice. At 20 knots it goes like a dream, even noise-wise. There is no noise, no vibration. No phonometer is reading. Hold on, I need to stay quiet to register the real level. Seventy-one dBA, almost the comfort zone of a grand luxury sedan.
Hanno studiato la carena e le eliche per ottenere le migliori... They've studied the hull and propellers to get the best performance at the average speeds people go, i.e. from 15 to 25 knots. In fact, at this range, petrol consumption is always constant. What I mean is it varies from 85 to 140 litres an hour in total. But litres per mile is always 5, 7. Now, though, we're going to wake up all those horses, 1,450, like this. And there we go, 30 knots. The engines are going 2,200 revs, so still not up to maximum cruising speed. Just think that at this speed we can cross the Adriatico lengthwise in about two hours. But there's still a bit of power I can squeeze out. Let's see if we can make the cameraman dance a little bit. Worth a try. The waves are a little less than a meter. It's going full speed, so I'll lower the intruders a bit and watch the speedometer and rev counter. So we're going 2,550 revs a minute, and I'm looking at 37 knots. 37 and a half? 37.7. That's really fast. I do enjoy playing a little with the intruder, because if I continue to regulate it, I can change the performance of this boat. I've just got to 38 knots. It's really sporty. Okay. Okay, we can have some fun here. Definitely worth my while but I need to go the other way. Let's turn back. I need to show you some other things. We've had some fun sailing fast over the waves, but I want to ask you something. What's the most important characteristic of a boat? Yep, you've got it, safety. And it's for this reason that a few days ago, I went into the boatyard to see how they put together the bottom of this boat. The reinforcement net of the boat is very sharp. There's even some lightning bolts to remind you where the glass is, so you can see its structural strength. Then, still on the safety theme, and boats shouldn't ever stop thinking about it, because it's only when everything is functioning well that we can calmly face everything and any situation and enjoy the trip. The boat's security depends on how the machinery works and the pleasure in using it depends on it. So, for these reasons, Cranky likes to make everything here inside this factory. This is a tube that takes the petrol to the engine, and in some parts it needs to be folded, like this. Nope, wrong. Here, the section is smaller. Less petrol passes through, and the engine isn't going at its maximum. Cranky makes its tubes like this, though. Even on the curves, the section has remained the same and the petrol passes through in the exact quantity. The electricals are prepared in this department. 
There are machines that cut the cable to the right length, splice through to the copper, wrap it with a connector, and then write on it to say what the cable does. This way, any electrician in the world can work on the machine. But that's not all. Cranky, to optimize costs, buys enormous reams of electrical cable and uses it to its best thanks to this system. There is minimum wastage and little is thrown out. Even plastics and copper are recycled. The same happens with other materials, like all the tubes, for example. Questo significa che non sprecano i loro soldi which means they don't chuck away money, our money, the money we use to buy these boats. At San Giorgio di Nogaro, there's the private quay and Italo Monzino Marine Test Center, where all the cranky boats are tried out. 365 days a year, holidays included. Good, now we can take some time to look at the layout of the interiors. The main bridge is divided into two areas, the living room with sofas on both sides, the lunching area with a table, an L-shaped sofa and the kitchen, with cupboards in the center of the boat. Below deck, the captain's quarters are in the center of the boat and it's furnished in contemporary style, even with a special reading area, wardrobe and bathroom, which separates the cabin from the machine room even further. There's another double, another one too, that wins the prize for its width and height. It's got wardrobes and drawers and a corner allocated to putting makeup on. There's a second bathroom too, furnished tastefully, especially for the space. In the corridor, you'll find the services, including washing machine. Even though it's industrially produced, Cranky has an eye for detail and uses the best quality materials, especially for their beautiful essentials. Ora non resta che valutarla. So now all that's left is to sum the boat up a little. Over 17 meters long, almost 5 meters wide, two 725 horsepower engines, the living area, kitchen, eating area, three cabins, two bathrooms, and a beautiful terrace on the sea with three sun decks. One of which is on one of which is on the flying bridge, a swim board and a garage. Where would you find a villa like this that costs a million euros, keys in hand, all included, even the furniture and accessories?